Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the game Ipco System. And this is maybe one of the easiest games of my collection because all you do in a turn, you choose one card, you put it in front of you and finally you will form a grid of 5x4 cards. On these cards you can find some animals but also meadows and streams and the fun of the game and the puzzle of this game is of course how you're going to put the cards down because based on their location and the surrounding cards they will get you points at the end of the game. And of course the player with the most points is the winner. So now please let me show you how to play Ecosystem. This game is for 2 to 6 players and all players at the start of the game get 10 cards together with this reference card. And this card will tell you how each card will score. And from then it's very simple. You pick one card to play. You put it face down in front of you. You wait till all players have chosen their card. And then you simply reveal the card and you have played the card. In my case a beer. Then the cards you have left are given to your neighbor who gives their cards to their neighbor and that neighbor gives the cards to me. So now I have nine cards to choose from. I pick another card like this one and from now on each card I play has to be on one side of a card already in play and it has to be adjacent on the long side or the short side not diagonally. All players will do so again first being the card face down and then you flip it up and again we're gonna send the cards around the table giving it to your neighbor until you've played 10 cards in front of you then all players get 10 new cards and we play a second round and then all players have 20 cards in front of them being a grid from 5 cards wide and 4 cards high. So now you already know how this game is played. You pick one card and you put it adjacent to one of the cards in front of you. But of course the aim of the game is to get the most points and this reference will tell you exactly how to score points with all the available cards. There are 11 different cards and I will show you how they get their points but in the end you also can score points or get punished if you have gaps in your ecosystem. Let's start with the beer. He will score two points for each bee that is surrounding him, being horizontal or vertical, not diagonally. But of course, beers also love trout, so you also get two points for each trout card that is adjacent to the beer. Trout will also give you points. They give you two points for each adjacent stream and two points for each adjacent dragonfly. The dragonfly likes to live by the streams. The points the dragonfly will give you is the points for the total size of adjacent streams. So this stream is three cards long, it's adjacent to the dragonfly, so the dragonfly is worth three points. If we change the trout with this stream, then we have another stream of two points next to the dragonfly, so now it's worth five points. So if you manage to get some longer streams in your grid, you might want to put a dragonfly next to it. For streams, we're just going to check at the end of the game who has the largest stream. That player scores 8 points and the player coming second scores 5 points. So it's not about the most streams, but it's about the longest single stream. Then we have some bees and bees like to live in the meadows. For each adjacent meadow, a bee scores 3 points. So in this case, this bee is worth 9 points. And of course, cards can score multiple times. Because if it's like this, this bee will also get 3 plus 3 is 6 points from the same meadow this bee scores his point from. Then we have the eagle, and the eagle will score 2 points for each trout and rabbit within 2 spaces. So this rabbit will score for this eagle. In 2 spaces there is this trout that will score points, but also these rabbits, because you can move in 2 steps, 1, 2, to the rabbit card. So this one is also called as a prey for the eagle. So now I have 3 cards giving me 2 points, meaning 6 points total for this eagle. The fox will score you 3 points as long as it's not adjacent to any bear or wolf. And if this wolf is here, it is not adjacent because adjacent is only horizontal and vertical. If the wolf is here, the fox would give you no points. Wolves, you just want to collect the most of them because the player who scores the most wolves will get 12 points, number 2 will get 8 points and the number 3 will get 4 points. Meadows will only score points if you have them connected, and the more you get connected, the more points you get. One single meadow card does not score any points. If you get two meadows connected, it will be worth three points. Three of them is six points, four is ten points, and if you manage to get five or more meadows connected to each other, you'll be getting 15 points at the end of the game. 
Rabbits only score you one point, but they have a special ability. When you place your rabbit card, you may immediately switch the locations of two cards. So they are your escape when you have some unmatching cards together. And finally, we have the deer. The deer will get you two points for each column and each row containing at least one deer. So now this row is worth two points and this column is worth two points. And if I have a deer here also, it's another row and another column, I get to score two points each for the deer. Or in this case, I have one row containing at least one deer and I have two columns containing at least one deer. So three times two is six points. And so at the end of the game, when all players have made their grid of five by four, you can take the score sheet and we're just gonna check all animals to see how many points each player get for all their animals and the streams and meadows. And that will score you points, but we're also gonna check for diversity. Every single type of card that you not have in your ecosystem is considered a gap. So in this case, the beer is missing, that would mean one gap. But if you have a card in your grid that is worth zero points, that also counts as a gap. Because this fox is next to wolves, it does not give me any points, so it's a gap. And also, the player with the most wolves gets points. If I not have enough wolves in my ecosystem to score points, also that wolf is considered a gap. If you have only two gaps or less, you score an extra 12 points. Three gaps will give you seven points, four gaps will give you three points. When you get five gaps in your ecosystem, it's okay, but you don't score any points. And in case you get six or more gaps, but it's kind of hard to fulfill, you will get minus five points. So the game kind of encourages you to have a lot of diversity in your ecosystem. And then, of course, the player with the most points is the winner. There's a small adjustment to be made when playing with only two players, because then we will have a dummy player. By the way, the first round you're playing clockwise, passing the cards. In the second round you will pass the cards uh, counterclockwise. When playing with two players, you pick your card, then you pass your cards around. But here's the dummy player. So my opponent will give the cards to the dummy player. And the deck from the dummy player, you just pick randomly one card that the dummy player played. And then I get the remaining cards from the dummy player. So each round also the dummy player will get one card. And it might be a contester for having the most wolves or the largest streams. So keep that in mind. And that is how ecosystem is played. It's an easy to play game, but every time you're pushing like, oh wait, if I put this animal next to that animal, what will that do? How will I get the most points for each type of animal you have in your grid? So almost every turn you are checking this reference to see how to get the best combination of cards in front of you. And that is Ecosystem by Genius Games. If you have any questions about this game, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. My name is David, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.